Hi, my name is Tom McCurdy, and today we're going to talk about C sharp polymorphism uh, and specifically about virtual and override. This again is based on uh, a solo learn tutorial. So, this is the inheritance and polymorphism section. Uh, I believe that is in yeah, inheritance and polymorphism, and then polymorphism. And Polymorphism is something that allows you to create kind of a base template uh, that can have a single method that can be uh, implemented in a number of different ways. Um, and the best way I think to, to go about it is to go through an example to walk through this a bit. So I'm actually going to start with the example uh, right here. And we're going to play with the code a little bit to see if we can't understand it a little bit better. So, to begin with, we have uh, our class shape. Shape has a virtual method uh, in there called draw. Um, and it says console write base draw. Let's make that a right line. And then we have a number of classes that uh, are derived from shape and what they do is they use this override keyword to let the class know that uh, circle is going to overwrite the draw method part of its base class and so instead of base draw draw for circle is going to do circle draw in a similar way um, you have class rectangle, uh, which is derived from shape. And instead of having draw, say, base draw, because we override that method, it does rec draw. So let's play with it. Let's start out with actually uh, a shape object. So we'll say shape A equals new shape. And when we do this, we should be able to say a.draw. So we run the code, and sure enough, we did our first uh, call to draw, did base draw. So this was of the uh, class shape. Our second time we, we uh, called draw was on our uh, object C that we created, which is of type circle. Um, and when we did this, uh, it changed that method, so it went circle draw. Um, and similar rectangle. So pretty straightforward that the override was able to um, basically override the method defined in the class uh, shape. But let's let's start experimenting a little bit more and see if we can't figure out some additional details about about this. So to start with, I'm going to create a non-virtual method. So can you have non-virtual methods uh, within your class definition? Sure, there's nothing preventing you from doing that. So we could say something like public, I don't know, string color and we're going to give this class a, a property get set and so uh, and we will create a method for it public void info and this will say console.write line color. And so now uh, our shape should also have a property of color that we can store. So our shape a.color. Um, could equal red. We'll 
get the info on that. Um, and for now, let's comment this stuff out so we don't get confused on what we're looking at. So this is a pub, uh, property, and we have uh, added property, added method, just to keep track. All right, let's run this. So we run this now, and sure enough, oh, missing a semicolon. Whoa, why did I do? Sorry about that, not sure what I was thinking there. There we go. So we created a shape we have a property for it because even if you have a virtual method, uh, there's no reason you can't have additional properties of the of the class or methods in the class. So we drew it and we uh, displayed the information on the property. In a similar way, there's nothing preventing us from doing that for our shape. So Let's move down our comment. We have our shape circle. We could say C dot color equals blue. C dot info. Okay. So again, uh, nothing preventing us from doing that. But uh, what happens if we do um, something a little bit different? So instead of our rectangle, let's uncomment it for now. Instead of having our rectangle be shape r equals new rectangle, what happens if we just called it a rectangle to begin with? Rectangle r equals new rectangle r.draw. Can we still do the same thing? Let's try it. Let's do it all at once. R.color equal black R.info. Is this, is this valid syntax? Yes, it is. So we've done it a few different ways. We showed what's possible, but you may be asking yourself, what's the difference of saying rectangle here versus saying shape here? Well, the difference is, is you're not going to have access to any methods that are specific to this rectangle, even if it's based on a drive class. So if I said um, public Uh, void rectangle. Uh, let's call it sides. And we can say console right line. Uh, a rectangle has four sides. And let's shape, let's get rid of our, our comment out, our circle for a second. And let's make a new rectangle Actually, we're going to call this one uh, based on the shape. So we're going to say shape r1 equals new rectangle. Uh, and we're going to say r dot... Actually, let's put this after. So this will be r1. And then afterwards, we'll make uh, shape 
R2 equals new rec tango. We do R2 dot draw R2 dot color equals green R2 dot info We'll, we'll try this. Okay, so both of our rectangles are made. Our one that is black and our one that is green. So far, everything looks the same. Now, with our rectangle one, we have access to this method, which is defined under this class rectangle. So let's say uh, r1 dot sides. A rectangle has four sides. Very good. Now, if we try to do this in the second example, shape does not contain a definition for sides. So what, what, what's the difference here? Well, because we're defining R2 as a base class of shape, it doesn't have access to anything that's specific to rectangle. So we added a, uh, a method called size, which just displays a rectangle has four sides, but because that's not part of this base class definition, there's no sides definition here, you don't have uh, access to it. Whereas if we call a uh, rectangle, we actually get the kind of the best of both worlds in, in some aspects. We have access to our, over, uh, our method that we uh, used override to redefine. So instead of base draw, we have access to rect draw. But in addition to that, we have access to the methods um, that we, we could add to the rectangle class. So you're able to, to get the base class information, but you're also able to, to extend it a little bit farther and get, uh, you have the option of, of creating your own methods or properties. Uh, in the same way, we could say public, uh, we'll make a property. So we'll say public string um, and we'll call instead of color uh, size Again, we would be able to say r1 dot uh, size equals large right line r1 dot size. Let's comment out the part that gave us an error. So we displayed large in the same way we could not access that from our R2 because it's of type shape. We don't have access to properties that are specific to the rectangle class. R2.size equals medium. So there's a little bit more information. Um, I think it was kind of helpful to, to go through these examples. Um, I'm going to add some comments here. So if anyone wants to look at the code, they can play with this code. Won't work. Not a property of shape. 
won't work on a method of shape. And uh, other than that, I'll make the code available and you should be able to, to, to play with it.